Welcome to Couponing 101. I've had so many friends ask me to teach them how to coupon, so this is my attempt at it. This one is going to be the basics of organization. In order to be a successful couponer, you're going to need to organize your coupons. Otherwise, you're standing in the middle of the grocery store searching for that coupon for that loaf of bread that you know you have, you have it somewhere, you pull your hair out, you're going crazy, and then lo and behold, when you get back in the car, it's sitting in, the, in your console. So therefore, this has been my lifesaver, having a binder. Um, this is my old binder. It's a two-inch binder. Um, I started off with a one-inch binder. I bust out of it in no time, and then now I'm in this two-inch binder, and as you can see, it's <laughs> out of control. So today I went out and purchased a three-inch binder. I got this binder from Target. Um, I'm sure you can search around and find one that you like, but I'm preferable to pink, so therefore I wanted this binder, had to have it. I like it because it has these pockets in it because a lot of times I'll come across an expired coupon while I'm in the store, and I like to stick it in here because you can send your expired coupons for up to six months overseas because our military families are able to use them at the commissaries. Um, you're going to need to get the coupon holders. These are currency, plastic currency holders. I got these from Amazon.com. I spent, I believe it was $10 on about 100 of them, a pack of 100. And I like these in particular because you can put the long coupons in them. Um, you can also put the small ones in there too, but it's a little bit more versatile. You're able to do a little bit more versus these ones that I got from Five Below, which are baseball card holders. And I spent $5 on this pack, I believe, of about 50. But as you can see, you know, sometimes it's not really good to have a folded up coupon because you might miss the expiration date, you might miss what it is, and, you know, if I do have to fold a coupon, I do always try to put it where I can see the picture so I know, you know, what I'm looking for when I'm in the store. In addition to having the coupon holders, you're going to need to have dividers. I purchased these dividers today because I, I break my categories down into, like, frozen foods, and I'll do a different video on how I break down my um, categories on the different sections of the food, but I kind of like these dividers. I'm excited about them because I found them today at Target. They were only 50 cents, but I like these little pockets that they have on them because, once again, I can stick something in there. It's more space where I can stick more coupons. So I really, you know, in particular like those. Now, you don't necessarily need to have a big binder, but, I mean, it's... <laughs> If you're going to do it, do it right. Uh, one other thing that I got today was one that I can carry in my purse if I wanted to just, like, make a run into the store. But it's kind of the old-fashioned type. But this was a, a check file. They had a coupon holder, but it only had seven sections. I like this one because it had 13, and it's a little bit bigger, and it can hold the bigger coupons. But I spent a dollar for it at Target. So there you have it. Organize.